global warming, pollution blanketing the earth, causing our earth's planet's temperature to rise, killing off species and coral and stuff. So I have one question. Why is it still freezing cold here in the U.S. and there's still snow in Asia? So if you live in the U.S., you might be experiencing extremely cold temperatures. What does this tell us about global warming? Sadly, not much. The reason the U.S. is cold right now is because of something called the polar vortex. Here, I'll clear up a few things for you. Number one, global warming refers to the whole planet, not just the United States. The term global warming typically refers to the rise in the average temperature of the Earth's climate system. A key bit there is Earth's average temperature. It can be very cold in one part of the world and very hot in another at the same exact time. Sometimes the same exact weather event can do both. The jet stream is currently making some parts of the U.S. unusually hot and some parts unusually cold. Australia is having record hot temperatures right now. What we're interested in is whether the global average is changing over a longer period of time. That's impossible to judge from a, a single point in time in a small area. The continental United States is less than 2% of Earth's surface. For example, December 2013 was an unusually warm month even though it was colder in the U.S. So let's take this past December as an example. North America was colder than the average over the past decade. But Europe and Russia were much cold hotter on the average. India was cooler than average. Australia was warmer than average, and so on. Global warming isn't expected to abolish winters in the US anytime soon. Right now, climate experts are worried about two Celsius to four Celsius rise in global temperatures by the end of the century. That'll create all sorts of disruptive changes, but those few degrees aren't enough to completely undo the larger swing in temperature we see each year between summer and winter in many parts of the world. Indeed, many climate models suggest that we'll see record cold snaps in the United States as the planet heats up. They'll just become much less frequent over time, while record heat waves will become increasingly common. Over the past decade, the U.S. has experienced about two daily record high temperatures for every record low. If the planet keeps heating up, the ratio will shift to 20 to 1 by mid-century. There will still be record lows in many areas, but just be rare. Heavy snowstorms will also still be possible as the planet warms up. This sounds bizarre, but it also makes some intuitive sense. Global warming isn't going to eradicate winter temperatures in the United States anytime soon, but a warmer planet will allow the air to hold more moisture on average. So in theory, you could have the ingredients for more intense winter storms. Number five. Yes, there is a theory of how global warming could cause severe cold in the U.S., but it's still highly debated. Right now, the Arctic region is warming rapidly, and few scientists think that this could cause a jet stream to slow down and weaken and meander all over the place more often. That could have lots of unpredictable effects. It might cause storms or heat waves to linger in one place more often of the period of time or it could allow a bigger blast of frigid cold air travel down to the United States, as is happening right now. This is a relatively new idea, and there's still a whole lot of debate over the link between Arctic warming and extreme weather. So there you go. It's horribly cold outside, the planet is still warming. Strange, but true. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and like this video. Thanks for watching. This is a preview of next week's video. Since the high pressure is starting to just try to get to the low pressure. And that's how Frisbee works.